our uh, 2020 transformation project uh, is renovating uh, a lot of space here at the Tech Center. Uh, we're converting a lot of old spaces to uh, open office uh, environments and along with that uh, we're upgrading replacing a lot of the infrastructure that supports those environments. We've sat in many meetings of people wanting to mine the data out of this system now and we've sat in meetings where people want to have uh, tags on their person and adjusting the temperatures or walking through the building and, and all that good stuff. But I think one of our most exciting ones is the conference room yeah. application. Yeah, the, the room finder application that, that a group is working on uh, will do uh, exciting things like lead you to an open conference room uh, based on your position and the, uh, the sensors that are in place in the room. So at the clinic we noticed that there's tons of legacy protocols, legacy systems out there. George is really reaching for an open system. Yeah, the, the clinic's mindset was they have a huge enterprise obviously with the 360 plus buildings. They needed a way to tie this together. So you know the products we've chosen uh, allow us to integrate those different systems together, leave some legacy devices out there. To chop away at the hardest integration of all time, we had to work with the owner on what their roadmap was and really get what they wanted as an end, end product out of the system at the end of the day. So we created a technology roadmap across their facilities and all the building systems to come up with exactly what technologies and what systems we'd have to use to get them their end goal at the end of the day. We started this project with implementing these systems and manufacturing environment. We integrated into um, compressed air systems, HVAC systems, mechanical systems for wastewater treatment. Um, we brought in lighting control. And most importantly was the energy metering because that provides us the data analytics of how plants perform from a standpoint of efficiency One of the biggest challenges of the project is the collaboration between the normal facilities group and the IT groups and getting them together and then also providing a, uh, a nice clean area for all the contractors to work in also. I think one of the most important things is as more things are getting connected onto the network and dealing with all the different protocols that all of a sudden the Cleveland Clinic noticed network problems as far as network traffic, devices not communicating any longer because there was no standard. You know, the way the construction, construction industry is today um, kind of made it a little challenging to get these facilities integrated with the build outs and, and stuff like that, but it really took a driving effort from the constructors and the construction management team with our owner to really drive home that the integration and the, the tech GC to bring all these siloed systems together was, was required and you know it was better off at the end of the day. Um, there was even seen cost savings across the projects to integrate them into a single platform. The technology changes so rapidly. So in order to be able to roll with that different strategy, we need to uh, work internally and test these different environments. We work with a lot of different OEMs um, we are looking at different opportunities in the building because everybody, the buzz now is the autonomous vehicles. We want to have autonomous buildings. To develop that takes a lot of effort from all types of different individuals in Ford. As a master systems integrator, I think one of the most important roles that I play for this project is, is the ability to walk between the different levels of people and integrate with all the different levels of contractors on the job. Yeah, there are some challenges with, uh, with being an MSI. It, it almost seems like you, you have to be the, the cop on the block um, when building out projects. But um, some, of the, uh, some of the things is, is just, this is a new thing, it's a new industry. Um, to, to say MSI, Five years ago, you wouldn't have heard that term. So it, it's an educational thing, right from engineering all the way through to the lighting contractors and, and BAS contractors. So 
truthfully, you got to take the role on as a, as a teacher um, and really teach the industry on, on what the expectations are. So we're not only connecting devices, we're connecting systems. We're integrating to our OpTime patient scheduling system to save energy in our ORs. I come in to uh, bringing in the strategy and working with the IT teams. The IT teams in, are involved to document, um, network different uh, ways of moving the data, and we also have um, application management support after we have implemented the project, it turns over to an IT support mechanism. We have a building IoT plan. We are living IoT. I'm living IoT. I am IoT. We are living IoT. I am living IoT.